Hi, we're here at uh, Sony Picture Studios and we're checking out the new Sony line of uh, televisions and uh, their sound bars and surround products. So, th so this is their new OLED, it's the Bravia 8. Uh, it replaces the uh, A80L from last year and um, it is a wonderful OLED television which we love so much. Um, and paired with it here uh, is uh, a new product called the Quad, which is a four speaker system plus subwoofer, which can reproduce uh, multiple channels, um, including immersive sound. Uh, it has up firing speakers, front firing speakers. Um, it uses Sony's um, sound mapping technology to map it into multiple channels so you feel as if it's a full uh, 7.2.4 or at least 5.2. 5.1.4 um, system with up-firing drivers. Uh, so what we're seeing here is the uh, Bravia 3. It is a direct LED backlit LCD television from Sony. It's brand new for 2024. And um, this does not feature um, a local dimming, but it is a direct LED backlight. So it has uh, good color saturation, good um, uniform lighting through the set. So this is uh, the entry level of the Bravia line. And unlike previous um, years, they're trying to simplify the models a bit. So Bravia 3. Hey, what we're looking at here is Sony's Bravia 7. This is a uh, direct backlit LED LCD TV with local dimming. Um, and it is just below the uh, top of the line. Um, we saw some demos of this earlier today and it put in some really impressive performance with um, very uh, awesome lighting specificity in the in the local backlighting that you know would eliminated any blooming or artifacts that you normally see with a, an LCD television. And here they have it paired with the new soundbar, um, which is the Bravia 8. The Bravia 8 is a replacement for last year's um, HTA 5000 soundbar and the same accessories and speakers that worked with the HTA 5000, which are reviewed. Uh, recently um, also work with the Bravia 8. So what we're seeing here are the RS3S um, surround speakers and the SW3 uh, subwoofer. Um, so that allows you to turn the soundbar into a 5.1.2 system because it does have up firing speakers in the soundbar, but the three surround speakers do not have up firing drivers. So if you want to actually have a uh, multi-height channel speaker system, you need to upgrade to the next one in the line, which you're gonna walk over to. Hey, so we've arrived at the, uh, the top of the line here. What we're looking at is the gorgeous uh, Bravia 9. This is Sony's flagship mini LED, LCD TV, um, with just tons of zones. We'll, we'll show you some footage of what the actual lighting zones look like and how amazingly specific they're able to get with the backlighting to make this kind of approach an OLED in terms of its um, uh, lighting uniformity, uh, but exceeding OLED by quite a bit in terms of its max brightness. Um, we saw some content that was mastered for 4,000 nits, which is super bright, and this did an amazing job of reproducing that content. Um, so it's the Bravia 9, and it's the new top of the line mini LED, mini LED TV from Sony, and it's paired with their flagship, new flagship soundbar, uh, which is also called the Bravia 9, but it's the Bravia 9 soundbar. Um, it, this is a replacement for the former HDA 7000 from last year, and like the Bravia 8, it works with the same uh, surround sound speakers and the same subwoofer options from last year. So what we're looking at here is the uh, RS 5S surround sound speakers, which have both front facing and upward facing drivers for height channels. And here with the SW5 uh, subwoofer. So it has the best base performance of anything in Sony's subwoofer line. Um, this did a, a really great job on uh, some content. We saw some demos earlier, uh, heard some demos earlier, I should say. Um, and with the upward facing drivers, side facing drivers that bounce off the wall, upward facing drivers and front facing drivers here, uh, it, you can basically put together, well, it's either a 7.1.4 or 9.1.4 system, depending on how you count. 
but it's a lot of .1.4s, we'll say that much, yeah, for sure. Um, and in terms of soundbar sound, it does a, a really great job, I think, capturing the uh, artistic intent of, um, uh, let's say we heard Dune on it, we heard the um, Gran Turismo movie, just some you know, really great dynamic sound. So looking forward to checking these out and the Acoustics Lab soon. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you to our sponsor, Q Acoustics. From the affordable but high performance 3000i series to the new advanced 5000 range through to the high end concept family. Make Q Acoustics your entry point, your next sonic step up, or your end all for your hi-fi and music listening journey.